Hi, so good morning. Today we're in Bar Harbor in Maine in the USA. Uh, to get to Bar Harbor, you have to take a tender boat from the ship. And we've just come in on this tender right here. That means basically we use some of the ship's lifeboats and we ferry everybody back and forward from the ship um, into town. And so we're here now and we're going to check out Bar Harbor. Now as you come off the tender, we're heading into town right now. This is a beautiful view that awaits you. Over there, that's Stuman's restaurant with some great lobster. Uh, this shows you the kind of architecture and the character you can expect to find in Bar Harbor, along with obviously lobster and the famous dessert from the area is the local blueberry pie. Delicious. Off the ship, if you walk to your left, then you get a very nice walk that takes you all the way along the seafront. Now we're going to check out over here now. There's a small beach you can head down to, Stone Beach right there. This is the Bar Harbor Inn. This is a good example of the architecture in Bar Harbor. Um, it's home to lots of cottages, which aren't small cottages at all. They're actually beautiful mansions and that were built in the early 1900s and home to lots of rich and sometimes famous people as well. This is a nice place to stop off um, for a drink or food, a little on the pricey side, but it it's a very nice building to show you how Bar Harbor ar architecture is. And now we're gonna head along to the beach. Okay, so this is the path we're going to take today. We're going to head along the shore path. It's from 1881 and it's not too long. It takes you about half a mile along the waterfront here and it shows some of the beach, some of the nice areas there. Further afield is the Acadia National Park. And as you go along the shore path, there's plenty of paths that take you back up towards the village if you want to go and head, out, head up there and check out some of the lovely cottages or back into the village of Bar Harbor. As you're walking along the shore, you can even stop for a little bit of relaxation. We've got some of the famous maritime chairs here. These ones aren't red, but they're very comfortable and with a great view. Walk along the shore walk, you'll find a lot of rocky beaches. The rocky beach goes all the way down and our harbor is famous for the rocky beaches. Now the tide's in at the moment, um, so it's quite high up. Um, it goes quite a bit further out, so you could stroll further along the beach at different times of the day. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful coastline. And this stretches all the way along and over towards the Acadian National Park as well. Now out here in the water, you can see we have several small islands that are close to land, close to our ship. If you take the kayaking tour, you would actually go around these islands as well. Here's a little snippet of what you could see if you go kayaking out on the water. Now as you go further along the beach, it's a lovely walk. You can see the stone beaches stretch way along here to the forest. Now the forest starts um, right at, along the waterfront here and this stretches back to the Acadia National Forest. Now, the Acadia National Forest is a place, a national park, is one of the national parks of America and it's a fantastic place to visit if you like nature, if you like uh, wildlife, being down at the water is great, being actually in amongst the trees is beautiful and there's a large loop road that goes all the way around there and you can take tours out there uh, with the ship, you can take tours there by yourself, there's a local bus that heads out there as well and let's have a look at what you could find there. Now down on the beach there's a place called Thunder Hole where the water comes in and it splashes up, it's a fantastic natural thing to check out. Here's a sneak peek.
heading back in towards town. Uh, there's a nice little park right at the side of it with the local bandstand where they sometimes have live music in the summer. It's a nice place just to sit down, relax and enjoy the view or an ice cream. Now as you walk around uh, Bar Harbour you'll notice that the town really takes care of itself. It's a very pretty place, beautiful flowers and it's just a lovely place to stroll. One place it's good to get souvenirs as you walk around uh, Bar Harbour is on West Street. This is Del Sol. You might have seen it before in the Caribbean. They have stores all over. And this is where you get uh, your colour changing things. Let's see what they have. So we're inside Del Sol. As you can see, they have lots of goodies that you can buy. We've got t-shirts, colour changing nail varnish. There's hats, there's bags, there's rings. All sorts of goodies if you want to buy souvenirs for your loved ones at home or a present for yourself. And we're very lucky that today there is the Bar Harbour Fine Arts Festival. It's on this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And Bar Harbour has festivals throughout the summer for arts, um, for food, um, lots of local fun things like that. Let's go check it out. So we're at the Fine Arts Festival. They have lots of different stalls here and lots of things you can see. For example, some beautiful local photography with works of the area. Uh, there's some homemade jewellery. Uh, there's homemade scarves and clothing. All the way down here, there's a lot to see, so we're going to have a look at everything and check out all the local artists. Um, so there's lots of things to see here, including local artists, local jewellery, local wooden hand-carved pottery, local silk art and tie-dye on clothing and ties and scarves, a lot more art and jewellery. So lots of nice things to buy. So now we're at Sherman's Bookstore and Department Store, just up the hill from where you get off the tender. Um, now this is a nice place to buy some souvenirs, some locally handmade things, especially if you like nautical themed things. So we're inside Sherman's, you can see some of the things that they have on offer. A lot of nautical themed souvenirs, ceramics, things for your house, Christmas tree bubbles. Lobster towels, a lot of lobster related stuff, and a lot of nautical themed things, which are very, very nice. The two main things to do in Bar Harbour itself are shopping and eating. Now, um, for shopping, there's lots of good places, as you've seen. Uh, there's lots of places where you can get nice hoodies and funny t shirts, things like that. And Island Imports on the corner of Main and Cottage Street is a good place because they have a really large selection. even buy a t-shirt that tells you how to properly pronounce the name of the town. Bahaba. <laughs> so there's two main streets that intersect in Bar Harbour close to the ship and that's Main Street and Cottage Street. Main Street is what you walk up straight from the tender and it goes all the way up here as you can see it goes up down the hill all the way to the village green where there's um, an artisan market if you want to walk up there it's a nice stroll and it's very nice to see that as well and then over here straight in front of us this is cottage street there's a lot more nice souvenirs there's great restaurants and there's also quite a few brew pubs down the street um, including the the whale um, if you want to check out some locally made beers now on Main Street, if you have a sweet tooth, the place to come is Ben and Bill's Ice Cream Shop. And you can get, this is a home of lobster ice cream. There's a lobster holding an ice cream outside, just to let you know that you're in the right place. They have lots of flavors of ice cream, locally made fudge, locally made chocolate, and lobster ice cream if you're feeling great. Inside Bill and Ben's Ice Cream Place, now as you can see, there's peanut brittle, there are jelly beans, there's the homemade chocolates up here, there's salt water taffy, there's more chocolate and there's so much ice cream to choose from as well. Many, many, many flavors. But we're going to try one that is unique to Bar Harbor. Okay, so now we're going to try the Bar Harbor local specialty. This flavor you won't find anywhere else. This is Bar Harbor's very own lobster ice cream. Here we go. It's ice cream with chunks of real lobster in it. There's actual meat in there, yeah. Hmm. See the black velvet? I love ice cream. I love lobster. It's kind of different, but it's exciting. Come and try it and see if you love it. 
now we're gonna go for lunch. Now Bar Harbor is very famous for its lobster. This is our place to eat. This is on Main Street. This is Getty's restaurant and they've got uh, some of the best lobster in town. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, we're inside Getty's now and we're at the lobster tank. This is what you can expect to eat for your lunch. This is one of the large lobsters. This is Louie the lobster here. Hello, nice to meet you. And there's some of the regular sized ones. You can see the lobsters are supremely fresh. They are swimming around, wriggling around, wriggling around the tank right now before they become your lunch. Well, it's a delicious lobster. You can check out the bar. We've got Ben here behind the bar, service with a friendly smile. And there's lots of different beers on tap, uh, different IPAs. Uh, the local specialty is the blueberry ale. With real blueberries. Give it a try. Start, you can have a delicious homemade blueberry pie made right here in Bar Harbor. Yum. So here's some happy customers from the ship after they've finished their lobster lunch special. As you can see, every little bit was eaten. <laughs> the manager again now, she's going to show us some of the delicious food you can have here at Jetty's. We offer a four ounces of fresh lobster meat on our lobster rolls. Comes with your choice of fries and a pickle. With a market price, it's, not, it's something not to beat. Come in and enjoy. The favorite on the menu here at Jetty's is the lobster stew with huge, delicious chunks of lobster in it. It's absolutely delicious. I wish there was smell of vision on this with fresh made kashka bread. And also we have some downy cider which is brewed right here in Maine. Very tasty. We're going to enjoy. Toast is oh, yeah. pin right here. He'll greet you at Jetty's with a smile every time. Welcome to Jetty's. And welcome to Bahama. <laughs> Checking out the shopping, the sights, the smells, and then most importantly, the taste the lobster, the blueberry pie, the blueberry ale. It was a lovely day, beautiful weather, and we'll see you next time. That's it from Bar Harbor. Goodbye.